program. I now recognize myself for an opening statement. In providing effective cybersecurity, the ability of the federal enterprise to monitor and assess the vulnerabilities and threats to its networks and systems in real time or as near real time as possible is paramount. This is what the Continuous Diagnostics and Mitigation, or CDM, program at DHS is all about. Understanding what and who is on federal networks so that we can achieve true visibility into the federal government's digital ecosystem. Phase one of CDM is to provide visibility into federal networks and information systems by working to identify what was on federal networks. It was a simple question, really. What hardware and software was on the systems an agency or department was running? This was about taking stock of those internet connected assets. And as DHS has moved through phase one, they found an incredible amount of devices connected to our networks that agencies were not previously aware of. How can you protect what you can't see? How can you modernize your technology if you don't even know what technology you have? It's no secret that the government has trouble buying technology. Old and outdated technology is not only a barrier to the federal government completing its mission to serve the American people in a digital world, but brings with it insecurities and raises serious cybersecurity risks for each and every agency and department. DHS began phase one in 2012. While I understand that setting up new government programs, buying new and advanced technologies, and deploying those technologies across a massive federal environment is not easy. The threats to federal agencies, however, continue to grow every minute. The maturity of the continuing diagnostics and mitigation program has to move at the pace of new technologies and innovations, not at the pace of bureaucracy. To most effectively carry out oversight, we must educate ourselves. While DHS is working with 70 plus federal agencies and departments from the 24 CFO Act agencies down to dozens of smaller bureaus and offices, this committee must work to better understand the pace at which cybersecurity technologies are advancing and how programs like CDM are working to protect the .gov. Does DHS have access to the cybersecurity platforms, technologies, and services necessary to make effective continuous monitoring a reality in five years, not in 15 years? We must work with the experts leading these charges in the private sector to find ways for more agile adoption of the tools and services we need to defend our networks and our data. As we have seen with both the private sector and government data breaches, the identities and privacies of millions of real Americans are at risk here. The federal government must work to protect the data of these citizens, including the employees that work within. That's why we're here today, to learn what we are doing right and to learn what we could be doing better. And to a certain extent, what does success look like? The rapidly evolving threat landscape of modern information age means that the government must change its processes to ensure that we aren't gathering more data than we can really protect. As we continue this conversation, I look forward to hearing from stakeholders throughout the federal IT space, including technology companies, DHS, and the federal agencies that they serve. We begin with the private sector experts joining us today. CDM is an ambitious program that I believe, if implemented well and over a reasonable timeline, provides the American people with the kind of federal cybersecurity defense that they deserve. I want to thank the witnesses for their time, and I look forward to their testimony today. I now recognize um, the ranking minority 